Thank you for stopping by my channel. Uh, today, the patch you see there is what we're going to be working on. This is a dent in the wall. Um, it's not a complete hole. So as long as it's not more than a quarter of an inch, you can fix this pretty easy. Now, in the right-hand corner through the video, you see this uh, logo. If you click on that, you can subscribe to the channel. Now, all you're doing is putting it on like this. If you can put icing on a cake, you can patch this patch. You're not looking to make it beautiful when you first put it on. Some people like to smooth it all out. If you smooth it out and make it real nice looking on the wall, when it shrinks, it's going to be in too much. I like to put it on a little bit heavy and then just sand it down. That way you don't have to go and put double uh, drywall joint compound on every five minutes. And that's what I'm using, by the way. Um, you can also use spackling for small things. It dries quicker and you can get the job done quicker. When you're using the compound like this, you leave it 24 hours. Now, explain something to you here. I'm working on a tile floor. If I was working on carpet, I would take painter's tape, about two to three inches wide, put it on the top of that baseboard, and tape it to the box. That way, all the sanding dust will go right into the box. Um, the, that's a vacuum cleaner. I have the sound muted on here so it won't be distracting. Um, that will pick up light dust in the air. It will not stop all the dust, but it will keep the light dust from getting all over the house. Now, when you get it on the floor and stuff like that, I'll just vacuum it up. If you want to sand this, this is just a sanding block. Sand it in circles in most cases. Just keep it flat. Don't press hard. Just do it gentle and take it down. Let the, let the sander, sanding disc do its work. Now, once you get it down pretty close, you want to take your glove off so you can actually feel it and feel it and see if you need to sand it a little bit more or if you have to fill in anything. Um, normally you can do it in the first time if you build it high, like I said, but not too high. If you go more than basically a quarter of an inch, it'll crack up on you, okay? So, but uh, get your wife to show you how to take a, put icing on a cake and you're ready to patch walls. It's pretty simple. The main thing is, is when you sand it is get your finish right. Now I've cut the video as much as I can, just showing you what you want to do. Uh, a little longer than what you see here to, to actually sand it to get it right. You want to sand it down. Now once you sand it down and you got your patch, now if you put the first coat of paint over this, you'll, you're going to see I've got two little clips I put here for you so you'll understand what I'm talking about. That patch is very, very smooth. The wall actually has a texture from being rolled with a roller. So you need to match that texture. If not, that smooth spot's going to really show up on you. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take some paint, you can do it with a different color if you're going to repaint the wall, but best to use the same color in most cases. Um, this one has a light texture, which you'll see. Um, so you can just use paint to patch it. But if you have real heavy pack um, texture, you can actually buy spray texture, or you can take and actually use drywall paste and just dab it. Now, you're going to see in a second here. Now, you see the texture on the wall when you zoom in on it, you can actually see it. Now, I'll go back to the smooth patch where it was patched that has one coat on it, and you can see the difference where it's smooth. Now, in actual, when you're really looking at it without through the camera, it really shows up. You can see it there. It's a lot smoother. There's no texture. I'm going to show you how to blend that in. It's very, very simple. Just put on a little bit of heavy paint, and you're going to take your brush, and you're going to dab at it. The final dabs that you're going to do, you want to go straight down with the brush. Don't bend it or anything. First bit, like I'm doing now, don't really matter so much. But the final part, you go straight down. And the more you jab at it, the finer those rough spots are going to get. So you can take it right down to where you can blend it to the wall. Just do it until you see it matching in. Now, as it dries, it'll settle in a little bit more because the paint's going to settle in and soak in. So sometimes you might have to go over it twice, but in most cases, you can do it in one. This, this particular wall, I can do it in one. And it'll be a little bit high now. As it soaks in, it gets a little bit lower, and it's going to fade right into it. Then when you paint the whole wall, you won't even know you packed it. So you can see it's nothing hard, nothing hard at all. Now that's the finished job. You can see there, you can't tell where the patch was. It's right on the side of that vent. You cannot tell. So it, it's very simple for you to do it yourself instead of having somebody come out and do it and cost your arm and a leg because they're not cheap to patch drywall. I've got some other videos going to be coming up where you actually cut the piece out of the wall and change it. Um, there's a couple other videos be coming after that where the door locks are loose and the doors rattle every time the air conditioning kicks on. I'll show you how you can adjust that. Now also go to my web page. There's uh, articles there on water and smoke damage and how to repair vacuum cleaners, all kinds of different things. And it's also uh, you can learn where to buy your products from and your tools and supplies that you need. Thanks for visiting.